So here we are in Marrakesh in our hostel room. Uh, we just got the train from Casablanca this morning. It took three hours. Three and a half hours. And I think you got an early. It was the best three and a half hours we could have <laughs> asked for on a train from Casablanca to Marrakesh. Yeah, we thought about going first class because it Why wasn't not? too expensive. But I said, nah, nah, let's go second class, let's save money. I'm so glad we did because in our cabin we met three very interesting people. Yes. Well, there are four people in our cabin, but the mother didn't speak French, so we had no way to communicate. But there are two people, two girls our age, who live in Fez, and they were fabulous. And then we met a very, very talkative and... Fascinating old Fascinating, man. Fascinating, yes. He was 82. He was an engineer. He lived in Rabat. All his... He told hundreds of stories. All the stories started. Un bonjour. Un bonjour. And at the end of the story, the person he was talking about was excessivement riche. Which means it always started on a good day, and at the end they were excessively rich. And this is all his family, his cousins, his children. They're all living across the world. He's got two sons who run a restaurant in Sheffield. He talked a long time about the son's wife, who was very, very beautiful, but liked to dance with other men in nightclubs. So he said... <laughs> In Morocco, we don't do that, and they got divorced. Uh, but all his children have got really, really rich. And he was... I don't know if he was rich himself exactly, but now he's... He wasn't rich to begin with. He also had a rags-to-riches story. And he wasn't rich to begin with, but in school, the minister of something picked him, and then he worked with the minister as he was going through school. And then he just became very popular as an engineer. No, he's got loads of friends who are ministers. Well, now he doesn't because they're all Everyone's dead. Dying. But he made friends with all the ministers, the Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of Public Works, ministers for absolutely everything you can think of. And he was great, but he also occasionally said really misogynist things like, all women just want money. Yes, all women just want money. No, not all women. He said you need to watch out for women who just want money. Yeah. His advice. Well, he was saying, he, he said it was all advice, information, Morocco has changed so much. Here are some of the changes, including them, including which all women, women these just days want money. want money. And he also told me that at 24, it is time to start finding a husband and be married. And I said, ah, yeah, and then just let that go. <laughs> he asked us if we were brother and sister, despite the fact that Krista is American, and told him. Krista. I'll do. <laughs> And the girls were really interesting, but we didn't get to speak to them as much. One of them was studying... Um, Psychology. Uh, and one of them was studying management. And uh, she was 20. She was already married. She was here to meet her husband's family. And they invited us to come and see them in Fez, which I don't think we'll be able to do, but it was so lovely. Fortunately, yes. We have contact information, you know, Facebook, Facebook. cell phones. Fezbook. We Fezbook. They call it in, in Fez. And unfortunately, it probably won't work out. But... Maybe. Want to say anything you? else about that man before we go? Um, my favorite part is that he was wearing a jacket, a sweater, a collared shirt, and a tie, but then he was wearing a Prada baseball hat. Little white hat. A little white hat. It was pretty perfect. Topped it off. Yep. All right. We will keep you updated. And if we remember anything more about him, we'll let you know. Yes.